All right, first violin. So I just wanted to go over a few of the places from your video submissions uh, that were um, kind of um, common amongst you. So the first one uh, would be measure 12. Um, I think everyone did a C natural. It's a C sharp. So it's kind of strange sounding. And then practice that, but also add the 16th note pickup into it. You want to make sure it sounds like a 16th note. Okay, so that's the first spot there. And then on the second page, um, just practice slowly measure 78. It's that's a little messy sounding uh, when you're going fast. Your fingering should be uh, first position and then from the F to the F sharp one to one. You just scoot your finger up the string. You leave your finger in the string. Don't take it out. Don't lift it for the slur. Just leave it in. Scoop it into the F sharp. And then uh, the last run there. This is measure 88 plus the pickups. Um, I feel like I heard some C's instead of C sharp, so make sure there's C sharps there. All right, in this next part, so you're counting, hopefully, one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four. So if you're counting that tempo, when you get to the six tuplets, you want to feel every, you want to feel like triplets, okay? So every three notes, which means you're going to alternate between starting on the F sharp and starting on the D. So maybe practice it with separate, um, just in scores of threes. at first, and then and then in slurs of six, uh, when you can still emphasize the F sharp and then the D. And that's really not, we, need, we don't need to hear the emphasis, it's really just for you internally so that you line up with the beat. And then once you have that, then one, two, Three, four. It's every six notes equals um, a beat, right? So from two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then right here at measure 101, if all four of you can do the same shift in the same slide, it will come through uh, really expressively. So it needs to be sort of a glissando down. So um, your third finger on the F sharp, you're going to shift down to first position with your finger still so somewhat in the string. So we hear that. And then when you reach the D, then you can change to the B. So work on making that shift expressive. And if we all do it, it'll 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 be heard. If only one or two, or you know, if it's half of you doing that, half of you doing that, or without hearing it, then it won't be effective. So we'll we'll make that nice uh, musical detail there. Um, In 124, let's make sure that the 16th notes 
uh, really sound like 16ths on the pickup. And then right here, I want everybody in third position for the F. So instead of, let's have everybody up, third finger. It's really nice in the hand. It's very easy all in the A string. And then you can go to your first finger on the B, or you can go to third finger on the D string. Your choice. Um, all right, and then on the 16th notes that follow, make sure you're using a really small but heavy bow. The other thing to make sure that the notes are really articulate, try to be really um, like pluck your notes with your fingers. If you do that, it'll help to articulate this. And then right here, make sure you give a little accent on the E of the second beat of the measure. So you have two E's in a row. Give a little accent on that second E. And that will also help you just to play really cleanly in that passage. Um, then the last thing was at 145. Uh, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think that some of you um, kind of missed the change to the dotted half note in the three four measure, which is understandable. It's hard to find it in the recording. Uh, but just count. So. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, sorry, it's not four. One, two, three, one. But you hold that E for a total of four beats. And that's it. Those are the only things that seemed common amongst all of you. So uh, address those. And otherwise, I think it will sound pretty good.